18 for Pat Bev, five assists. Yeah. Um, not typically a scoring. Yeah, his podcast is going to be a doozy. <laughs> It's the Pat Bear Pot with Ron. You're supposed to say Ron. Ron. Right. Uh, with Ron. So we're, we're doing a special little episode. I'm Ron this episode, and he's Pat Bear. Must be why you look so fucking fly, Ron. Right, 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 right. Chill, Pat Bear. Chill, chill, chill. <laughs> so, hey, Pat Bear, so how's the Milwaukee locker room? I, Giannis, what the fuck are we doing in this locker room? He... Pat Bev, you are my best friend. I fucking love you. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's awful. That's what? awful. Your Joel MB was way better. That's awful. That's 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 awful. That's guy seven eleven. That's bad. What? Yeah, you can't that, use that Pat. That's not bad. That's, that's not guy seven eleven. It is guy seven eleven. Say them here. That again. would be kind of more like uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta give me more green get lost fucking, in it. Yeah, the, uh, Pat Bev, I fucking uh, love Slovaki and the uh, uh <laughs> Uh, uh, euros and uh, how's your hand? White fish. How's your hand, Pat Bev? How's your hand feeling? Uh, it was never really hurt in the first place, guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? Yeah, that's what rolls back. No, 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 no. I yeah. like this. I'm not ready to be yeah, me. Okay, okay. I'm here not ready go. to be you. All right, here we go. Here we go. Start over. Uh, Pat Bev Pod. Let me just slide. We got to keep Come that. Come on, bro. You fucking up our rotation, bro. Yeah, right. The fuck? But is we'll you keep doing? that. Keep all of this. Okay. Yeah. Pat keep Bev Pod with Ron. Ron. Uh, Seriously though, what what is going on with your hand? Because last time we spoke, they said three to five months you couldn't be playing. I was calling loved ones. I, I had a prayer circle. I had a seance. Love, love, we, love. We Need it sacrificed all. the lamb to to your prosperity. Need it all. Live chickens next rung under the supplication of the gods of health. Yeah. But somehow, some way. You gotta make it up out the hood someday. <laughs> the yeah. Next game, yeah. Pat Bev is probable. I'm like, what the hell is happening? I hopped. Who'd you hear from? Well, I heard it from Pat Bev. I, I heard it from the horse's the mouth. Pod, the pod, the pod, the pod. The pod Say breaks it, its own news. Okay. <laughs> pod makes news. Pod breaks news. Say less. Pod takes news and pod never fakes news. Ooh. That's a fact. Hey. Also, hey. shit today. But honestly, how how is it? You're holding mic with with hands. It's great. No, shut the fuck up. It's great. It, I legitimately believe that it is. Look, so you guys have to understand, I've, I've done this before, right? I don't know. I get hand caught on someone's jersey. I might feel a little pain there, right? Might try to dunk layup line, miss dunk, but wrist hit rim, so it's field counts of sorts. So I'm used to the feeling it gets when I hit it or, you know, something with it. That's why I was kind of like shocked that the news I was given, like, yeah, you have torn a lig ligament, uh, you know, a possibility you can miss, you know, three to four months or, you know, you can, you can play, you know, it, it, it could possibly get worse. And I'm looking like, I feel fine, but you know, got to listen to the doctor. So. Yeah. But listening to the doctors would be being out for three to four months. You played the next game. Yeah. Yeah. You know that one, you know me, I'm come on, man. When I heard the news, I was legitimately sick to my stomach, and then I see you playing the next game, and I'm well, like, "I didn't really play the next game. I played seven, seven minutes. minutes. Yeah, yeah. I, it was an attempt to play the next game. Whatever. You suited up. Yeah. Got out. Ran. Got some shots got up. Some How shots did the shots up. feel the first game? Uh, great. Not not really painful. No, I don't know. My my pain tolerance is very high too. So my you know my pain tolerance isn't like everyone's, but no pain. No. I saw you playing, and I was like, "This motherfucker's Wolverine." No, that's what everybody kept saying. But I mean, I felt. I mean, when we did the pod, I, I, the last pod, I told you I felt fine. Like I actually felt fine. So I was. It was kind of shocking to hear the news that I got. But I kind of want to give you a paper cut and see if it just heals right in front of us. Well, if green blood come out. <laughs> NBA drug test shit, next shit, day. Shit, 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 shit. This man is high on adamantium. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I've been feeling great. Yeah, and then next game. Dame's out. My best Milwaukee Buck game. It's up there for sure. Yeah. Uh, Dame's Probably out. Probably one of my best games with win this season. 
Honestly. Every, every game I played well we, with the Philly, we kind of probably came up short. Please, please, come please, on in. Please, please, please. Right on time. Now use your voice. Come right then. Please play. Uh, Giannis voice? Yeah, that's yes. <laughs> Don't be afraid. Sorry, can I go how many so far? Two. Do you want me to do the ice bucket, please? Uh, please. Magnificent. Wow. Look at the bottle opener he has. Could you, hey, could you give him a shout out where we are right now? We, hey, listen, shout out to Four Seasons in D.C. They gave us a whole meeting room. They set it all up. They, 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 they had the blue match my, my outfit in your hat with the new Amsterdam vodka. They gave us the, the the hand. The hands there, the body armor's here. I mean, this is this is frontline uh, hospitality that they have right here at the Four Seasons. Hey, 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 come forward, please. Come on the camera. Yes, please. Thank you. Yes, sir. Beautiful. And what is your name, my friend? Isaiah. Hyas. Yeah, Isaiah. Isaiah. Nice. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you for thank you for the course, for the beer. Thank you. you. Yes, and I'm gonna give it to my friend here. Of course. And the second one? Of course. Uh, I'll take the second. Yes. The yes. Produ the pro our producer likes to get drunk while while we film. <laughs> no. Hey, you want one? If, you know, I'm not saying I'm not allowed to be Why are you more than happy? He's not listen, allowed. Listen, listen, there's no cameras in here. Well, <laughs> yes, he, he knows there's cameras. Oh, besides these cameras. <laughs> he knows there's yeah. cameras. Thank you so much. One second here, I got something for you. Wait a second, look at that. Zoop, purse opens up. You gotta have it. <laughs> what a guy, what a man, what a mighty good man. Please, please come on over. Thank you, sir, appreciate it, thank you. Thank you so much. Cheers, sir. Cheers. Health and wealth. Everybody that's watching the mother freaking pod. pod. <laughs> and if you're a kid, don't drink until you're 21. Watching the mother freaking pod. Cheers. Health and wealth. Health and wealth. And may we all show up to our funerals late. May we all show up to our funerals that's my late. Favorite toast. Don't, don't forget to say it into the mic then. If it's important to you, say it into the mic. Subscribe to the motherfucking pod. And if you're a kid, drink when you turn 21. Listen to your parents and subscribe to the mother freaking pod. But until then, cheers, brother. Prost. May we uh may we show up to our funerals late. Beautifully said. I like that one. Cheers. Mikael. Cheers. The boys are on the road, but that doesn't stop us from being able to talk about the hard hitting issues. That doesn't stop us from being able to have a beautiful set. The Dior books, Rafe Simmons in the front, Tiffany Chanel, et cetera, et cetera. New Amsterdam vodka. I mean, these I are love this lamp at home. <laughs> oh, yeah. The white room. I'll be honest though, this lamp is not that bright. I feel like the, the no, room it, cha it changes colors. What the fuck is that? The, it's the it's the light bulb. It came with the yeah. It changed color. Yeah. <laughs> you probably still got it. This is luxury yeah, stuff we're lamp talking I about. In, uh, my, I had in my, yeah, I got this at the crib. Yeah, so you're living a, la a life of luxury. And I guess that's the kind of things that come with when you uh, start a basketball game, have 18 points, five and five, not off the bench, but in the starting lineup. And honestly, it my numbers as a starter are wild. Yeah. What is it? 14, five and five on the season? Solid as fuck. That's like, uh, I mean, I, that's above average starting point guard. I kind of feel like you deserve a spot in the starting lineup. Is that crazy I mean, to no, say? I mean, it was, come on, relax. I just think that I deserve. Maybe I, my, uh, maybe I'm wearing rose-colored glasses because I'm such a fan of yours. But uh, <laughs> I, I think that you deserve a spot in the starting lineup. I appreciate. I think that. it adds a, a dynamic, yeah, a different little flair, a different little, uh, little flair. And I think that uh, you're entitled to your own opinion. Closing games, I think also you add add a nice flair to the team. And I think that that team. You know the type of I'm. I'm the type of motherfucker go out there. I might miss some early shots coming for a quarter. Hit, hit hit everything. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's just the type of player I am. So. So against the Atlanta Hawks, uh, you were able to get that start, and you were scoring in a variety of different ways, yeah. but it all started with that corner three. Did you have any trepidation, any nervousness before you shot that first Hell three? No, no, man. I've been working on my game. I went, but the but the thing was, I went in the day before, played with all the young guys. We played four on four, half half court. Me, Gal, two video guys against all our young guys, first, second year guys, belt to ass. <laughs> Yeah, I think we went up to seven each game. I think the total, we played three games. The total amount of points were like 22 to three. The video guys? Me, gal, two video guys against 
our young guys. That's all I'm going to say. I ain't really going to put their name out on the pod because they lost to the video yeah, guys. They lost to the video guys. So, yeah, belt to ass. <laughs> so, you were ready. So, like, the guys on the benches, like Bobby Porter's, Bobby, BP, shout out to the homie BP. BP come to me like, yeah, Pat, they say you still hot from yesterday. What happened yesterday? I mean, I don't know what happened yesterday. He, yeah, I heard, heard you was out there cooking people. You got to think Jay Crowder in the cut, he yelling in the back, hibachi, Pat, hibachi. <laughs> I'm on the grill. <laughs> yeah, I'm throwing shrimp and hats and everything. Onion volcano, oh, all man, that. I'm having my way. The score, we went up to seven. Three games. The score was 22, which, which tells you one of those games, we didn't have seven, we had eight. You hear what I'm saying? Do the math. Seven times three, that's 21. I said 22-3. That's Hibachi. Which means, yeah, it's a six, uh, six to zero. Let me shoot Trey. I don't want to get a lay. I shoot Trey. Eight zero. Seven one. Seven one. So you're competitive. Eight one. Yeah. So yeah, I felt good. <laughs> I felt good coming into the game. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Felt good coming into this motherfucker. <laughs> felt good. Felt real good. Cheers. Uh, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> you're, you're doing everything. Shooting floater, you know, shooting, uh, you know. Like the float? Yeah, of course. The float. And it seems like the float's back locked in. Yeah, you know. Felt a little pain. Told you, man, you can't, man, you can't keep this down. You're down. You can't, man. I, I, it's this championship run. This championship run, man. All that. I'm hurt shit. Motherfucker, everybody hurt. Right. There ain't no motherfucker 100%. 73 games into the season. I mean, this is a long, it's an arduous process. And I think it's more for me because I, I, I think I left a team that played the most games post before uh, All-Star break and to a team that's played the most game after All-Star break. So I might be up two games. Plus, you're, I mean, you were getting thrown out of preseason games. It's, I mean. You know, you, you, were, you were at the summer workouts with the, the, the rookie guys and the video guys in Philadelphia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Long season. It's okay. Wear and tear on the body, but somehow you have more energy than ever. I feel great. You came in here rapping today. I feel great. What was that verse? Uh, um, Off with your head. I, no, I say, uh, a real nigga in the loo, to me, Benny Hanna is pigeon food. It's not a forgiving move. So much we got to count the 20s up in a different room. I am just the body that my brothers are living through. I'm keeping my... Uh, Interaction is strictly physical. Everyone is married, is miserable. I, yeah. What the fuck? The road to the top of this mountain has been biblical. I don't carry cash because the money is digital. Mm. It's the American Express, uh, the debt collector. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. Shout out to Drizzy, man. Yeah, bro. Yeah. I really listen to Drake. We're having that shit sounded yeah. simple, too. Mm. Fucking beautiful. So, yeah, wrist feels good. Great, great win against Atlanta. They just beat Boston. Was anyone trying to smack your wrist or anything during the game? Uh, no, it was cool. Shout out to DeJounte Murray, too. I, I walk on the court before I warm up pregame. He subscribed to the pod. So shout out to DeJounte Murray. Shout out to DeJounte Murray. What's up with the young kid that got in my face in Atlanta? Bruno Fernando? Yeah, he don't know. <laughs> yeah, Pat Coleon. All right. He don't know. But I like it, though. You know, like, I like that shit. Yeah, come on. That's, yeah. Let's so what exactly forth. happened on the play? He got and one. I think he got and one. Showed emotion screen. I'm the closest. Mind you, I just checked in. I'm still trying to warm up. Like, damn, man. He got and one. Fuck, come on. Come on, let's lock back in. Fuck. Then I just see a big guy come in my face yell. Hey, hey buddy. Nah, this is not how this is about to go. Uh, take push. But then I forgot I was playing basketball for like two seconds. Because my push, you know, my push, I go push. Some behind that push next. But then Chris Middleton catch me. Like, I forgot I was hooping for like two seconds. Out of body experience. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Lost my shit. So, yeah, that was cool. Shout out to uh, Bruno. Bruno Fer Fernando. I like that. I like his emotion. I like that. Because he, he played well in the Boston game. So, I like, I like it all. It comes with basketball. Be emotional. I like it. But the Hawks announcer said that you don't want any smoke with him. Yeah. Hawks announcer don't want smoke with me. Why the fuck <laughs> is you talking about him for you don't want smoke with me? Yeah. <laughs> All right. If I you talking about another man, Mo. <laughs> <laughs> then you pray to yourself, yeah, though. Let me calm down. For yeah. Real. yeah. I mean, you don't have to, honestly. You could turn the turn off. I mean, it's your off day. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, it's true, true, true. But uh, you and uh, you you went and, and kind of blessed yourself. What was your yeah, prayer? Yeah, no, nah, just so oh, let me relax a little bit. Come on, out of body experience. Come on now, don't lose yourself. It's still a game to win. Cut to Bobby Porras. <sighs> Light day. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have to call Bobby for him. Yeah, you feel my use? Hey, BP man, get him. Who Pat? <laughs> you know, but BP don't play. Yeah, BP don't play about Pat Bell. So yeah, it's all fun and games, man. We got a good win. Got a good win. Started too. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. So 
Who, who was that? You were just consistent. Undefeated as a starter? With, no. with, uh, with Bucks? Yeah. Are you? With Bucks? You won the Clippers game, you started. And then there was another, another one you game. started. But that was also at home. Two, two home games you start. Although the one where they said Connaughton was starting. Yeah, I had a crazy game that game, too. Man. Yeah, you had a good game that game. Consistent as a starter. But I think that that helps Doc lock in for the playoffs. I mean, he's a rotation-based guy, oh. um, and he's going to pick things, you know. But it's the home stretch. But uh, it, what, what's the home stretch looking like for the squad? I mean, you guys have so many games in, in the next couple of games. Like, you, you play Orlando yeah. multiple times. I don't think you look at home stretch, right? Obviously, you know, the season is, is right. near, and, and the season is near. Man, shout out to the season, man. Like, you know, this shit went by fast, no? Oh my god! So yeah, so shout out to the season. Um, but it's not home stretch. It's uh, it's tune up. Yeah, prepare, tune up. Okay, let's go over a little rehearsal a little bit. Let's try some new things out that we wouldn't do. Like let's try some stuff out that we have problems with. Like okay, let's work on our communication. Um, let's turn down every good shot and make a great shot. Yeah, it might be shots that you go from good to great that a guy might get his hand on that you should have shot it, but I'd rather have that morale than a shot shot too quick, you know? So it's just fine-tuning. Great work. Yeah, it's almost like this time of the year that uh, you want to be in these uncomfortable situations no. or you value the end-of-the-game situations where it might be something that simulates playoff or, you know, you're 3-3 three and three in a certain number of games. It simulates a seven-game series. series right. So it's like this is game seven of our – uh, of our little series. Uh, so seems like you guys are, are locked in. Seems like uh, everybody seems to be in a good place. Dame has had some injuries. Jan has had some injuries. You've had some injuries. Chris Middleton obviously coming back. Does the team feel healthy? Team feels healthy, but, you know, we have a great coaching staff, obviously, and Doc Rivers, great training staff. I mean, these, these ladies and gents, they get it done, you know, top notch. So when it comes to the 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 you know perfect amount, the appropriate amount of rest, we get it all. Um, you know, you know, Doc Doc really don't lay, lay his hat on uh, practicing a ton. You know, his philosophy is you know the healthiest team, the freshest team always wins. So uh, he's not going to beat you up during the week, right? You know, he's not. He understands the schedule, understands the big picture. So uh, you know. He gets his practice and, 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 you know, days that we have shoot around and stuff like that. Maybe our shoot around is, you know, 20 minutes a little longer than everyone normal shoot around is. So we make it up in, in other ways. So uh, guys are just, you know, just enjoying it right now because, you know, it's about to get real. Doc had multiple quotes about the pod this week. <laughs> multiple. My mom sent me one. <laughs> My mom was like, yeah, I don't listen to this, but I got to start listening to it. And then the next day he's like, Pod's going to be a doozy. A doozy is a sick <laughs> word, Doc. It's an 80s ass word. Yeah, the sick word. 18 for Pat, five, five assists. Yeah. Um, not typically a scoring. Yeah, his podcast is going to be a doozy. <laughs> but how needed was that at times, especially in that fourth? There were a couple floaters. There. I think we planned in Atlanta. We planned in, we planned in Atlanta. I go check in. I guess somebody at the, the scores board has a picture of Doc and Michael Jordan. But like, you know, and plastic, huge picture. Like, you know, I don't know, size of this book. Nice picture and plastic, like, you know, waiting on Doc to get a sign, you know, Doc taking a mic, get a sign. Mike got ball, Doc all over him. Matter of fact, I got picture on phone. Cause picture Doc, of picture? Doc send me picture. Love fucking Doc, man, that's what I'm saying. How could you not love Doc? Man? Love fucking Doc, love clip fucking that. Doc, man. So I don't know if we can get that. Oh yeah, he is fucking body to body. Talk, so he he texts, close out to touch because that's his that's his thing. When you close out to a guy, you close out and make sure you he doesn't get the shot off. You close to touch. What's touch mean? Like touch a motherfucker. What you mean? He's he was hip to hip with yeah, him right there. <laughs> Doc was locked in, cheek to cheek. Man, you showed me that shit. I died live. I for sure he scored on you, Doc. <laughs> you know, I locked that shit up. <laughs> MJ with his hand like this, you knew it. he was about to do something it. crazy. And you know, it's crazy. You know, he got the assist record. Who's that? Doc. In what? In Atlanta. Hawks history. He does? And I think he's like second in steals. Really? Or it might be two in assists and one in steals or one in assists and two in steals. Something like that. And I think uh, someone else is number two. But yeah, you know. 
Who was his coach in Atlanta? Lenny Wilkins? I don't know. That's a great question. I don't know. It might have been Lenny Wilkins because that dude had a fucking billion wins. So S- Slick back hair. So, you know, guys around the team, they're like, man, you and Doc got a very interesting relationship. I would. Yeah, he cursed me out all the time. I, they, yeah, but like, someone hurt you the first to start. I, yeah, it's literally father, son, you know. Right. Type of Tough love. Yeah. No disrespect, AR. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Austin Rivers. Oh, oh I thought you meant Austin Reeves. No, I thought no, no, you were no, calling no. him your no, son no, or something. No, 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 no. no disrespect. Hey, y'all. Well, yeah, you know, Doc. Yeah, right, he, yeah, yeah. Brother. Yeah, yeah stepbrothers. Chicago vibe. So, you know, yeah, good vibes. Yeah, that's great. Hey, Pat, could you just shut the fuck up? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, coach. It is it. I don't think I will, coach. Hey, in front of everybody, though. Not just, you know, like, you know, just us walking past. I say some shit. He, yeah, that's good. But goddamn, Pat, just shut the fuck up sometimes. <laughs> I, yeah, love, coach. Right? <laughs> you know, so our relationship is uh, is very different. It's cool. I saw a clip of Dame having a post game press conference. You're like, talk your shit, Dame. Yeah, yeah talk your shit, Dame. Dame's like, <laughs> or, or was he? Hold on, let me get my words. Yeah, let me talk my shit. <laughs> he could might have been. Let me talk my shit. Yeah, I just wanted. Yeah, you know, he's 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 really good with his hands defensively. Dame, and I just yeah, I, you know, I love when guys. It's, it's, you know, you can be, you can be humble, but at times it can be, you can, you know, yeah, I, I, I'm a defender. I'm not a, I'm not a night off. I'm not a, a, a show, you know, like, so yeah, I like when, you know, people pop their shit. I like that. He's good defensively. He's good with his hands in general. I mean, he leads the league in free throw percentage, which is one of the most telling things of being good with your hands. Okay, great, great. Love that. F- extremely talented with his hands. You see that LeBron has a better three point percentage than Steph this year? I'm had years like that. Huh? You yeah, have years like that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, it took a lot, a lot from Steph. We put Clay in the second unit. Right. Um, I don't know if we Draymond's getting kicked out of every game. Every, every, you know, that's always tough. Which is, you know, he's one of the, you know, when it comes to playmaking, he's one of the top playmakers, right. you know, especially in that offense. You got Wig who's in and out the lineup. So yeah. Like you know, zero in on him, you're saying? I mean, zero in in. You gotta go more more shots attempts. You gotta go. More contested threes. And shit, I know we play and we send two, three guys at him. You know, so, uh, you know, that comes with it. Yeah. Meanwhile, LeBron has a lot of other guys on his team that could be yeah. uh, playmakers. Nine threes a night. Yeah. It was because he was listening to that Kendrick song at the beginning relax, of the game. man. You know, I, I hit him with the relax, Ron. Relax. Good guy. You're 90 years old out here hoisting threes. Get her done. Love Throws it. down the cane. Love it. Yeah, it's so impressive. But then he, after the game, he's like, yeah, I don't know how many years I have left. It's yeah, like, dude, yes, that. you do. You fucking you keep up. You're getting better. That motherfucker, man. Like, why? I saw that he's, by the end of the season, he's going to have 40, 11, and 11. 40,000 points, 11,000 assists, and 11,000 rebounds on his career. That's OD. That's so much stats. Thousands. Right? Yeah, that's so much thousands. <laughs> that's, that's insane. That's so many thousands. Yeah, that's so impressive. Like... I don't know. That's like some players probably don't have that in like their practice career. You think he can get 45,000? Yes. I think he can. I think what he's done so far with the game of basketball, he, if there's anyone that can do it, he can do it. Who's next? Wemby? Luca. You think? If he stay healthy. But he's going to have to like, he's going to have to average like 35 I mean, for like multiple years. Miles. But I mean, for like years and years. So I'm saying if you stay healthy. You're going to have to be extremely healthy. I mean, even if you look at Durant's trajectory. I know, but Luka started mad early. You know what I'm saying? Like, youngest triple doubles. most. You know what I'm saying? So, like, we'll see. What about Wemby, though? He started mad early. He's he's a rookie. He's having these 40-point games. Health is always an issue. It's just, you know, with that, it's just LeBron James has done what a lot of people haven't done before. You know, like. He hasn't had a year where he missed the entire year because of injury. Like he's been available every year in, you know, day in, day out. So with that, what comes, you having the ball all the time, numbers, you know, you working hard, working on your game, knowing the game, one of, you know, biggest reigns of the game, you know, all that put together, yeah, 45, 12, and 12, thousands. That's insane. Insane. I saw a uh, graphic and it said that the, they, this graphic was put into forth the position that only three NBA players could get traded or c- only three NBA players would not get traded for Wemby right now. Who? Who do you think? Steph. 
No, they, they didn't have Steph on the list. You don't think that the Warriors would trade Steph for Wemby for the rest of the... I mean, I guess they couldn't trade him because of what he's done. But as far as going forward for the rest of his career? No, I don't think they'd trade Steph. But I think that's because of what he's done, because he brought them four ships. The three were Joker, Luka, and Giannis. And everybody else in the league, they would trade for... Giannis, for sure. They would trade for, trade him for Wemby? They wouldn't. Yeah, they wouldn't. No, wouldn't. Jokic, for sure. Who's the third one? Luka. I mean, you just said he has the chance to have 40,000 sure. points. Anybody else you would add to the list or just Steph because of what he's done? Steph. Because what he's done. <laughs> what about guys and like Braun. him? Because of what he's done and what he means financially. Yes, and his power. His power. That motherfucker got a lot of power. <laughs> <laughs> what about guys like Shea and Ant? Gone, gone. <laughs> For Wemby? Gone. Speaking of Ant, the fuck is going over there on in Minnesota? With what? Mark Lore, A Rod, Ball Team. One year by team, second year by team, third year by team. Have to meet the deadline, March 27th, March 28th hit. Well, give us keys to team. Mr. Glenn Taylor, no, 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 no keys are mine. You guys done fulfill contract obligations. No team. What the fuck? Who traded me now? You think? I wonder, I'm trying to see. I wonder who, who okayed that trade. Oh, you think it was some dirty shit? I don't think it's dirty. Obviously, it has to be dirty shit. You give me money for the for for, for, for three years in a row for for I don't know a, 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 this fucking jacket that you want. I'd say yeah. And you give me all my money in three years, you can have jacket. You give me all money in three years, I get supposed to give you jacket. March twenty seven, March twenty eighth comes. I still have on jacket. You ask for jacket, I say no, no, no. You don't. You didn't. You didn't do what you're supposed to do. Contractual wise. <laughs> What? So what is going on in Minnesota? I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on. That's my question to you. What's going on in Minnesota, buddy? How didn't you hear about this? Uh, I, I, it doesn't didn't come across my desk. I see it, you, it's shocking you hearing this right now. It is shocking me because yeah. it's not at like the top of any of the NBA news. But then you think Maybe about I'm it like you know me because I think about everything. So now I'm like, Mark Lowe and A Rod did everything in the last three years to like. Boots up Minnesota. Right? Boots They're up, sitting courtside. Make, make it lively. Make it. Yeah. You know, not saying it wasn't lively before, but like, you know, you get a name like A-Rod, you get a name like Mark Lohr, and it's it's in the media. That puts that puts extra money on the team for show, especially with the success that its team has. I think they say team was worth one, $1. $1.7 two years ago. Team almost worth $3 billion now. I mean, Ant has to have a lot to do with that. Obviously, and Glenn Taylor does too. So, so I'm what do you think is going to happen? Was it a pump fake? Well, the, what happens to the money then? I guess every, all money has to go back. Yeah, money has to go back, but I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool with the money going back. Take the bread. The team was just worth one seven. I'm almost worth $3 billion now. I don't fuck with it. And I am Minnesota. Shout out to Glenn Taylor. Oh, man, that family is great. Oh, man, he's great. His wife, and I, Mr. Taylor, is great. The lasagna was phenomenal. I literally tell everyone about the lasagna. I'll go back just for the lasagna. The lasagna, like every time I see him, like, man, and I come through this summer for a couple of days, you gotta have that lasagna waiting on me. Oh, come through him anytime, pal. Are you talking about the best lasagna you've ever had? My mom might be listening. Your mom doesn't make lasagna. My mom, what you mean? She does? Elite. Really? Yeah, no fat of cheese over here, though. I don't fuck with the fat. Neither does Glenn Taylor and his family either, which makes it kind of remarkable. Like, my first day, I'm like, man, where the fuck is we going, bro? Three hours down the damn drive. Yeah, we have a lasagna night. Oh. All right, man. I don't eat no damn lasagna, man. White folks always make their motherfucking lasagna with that fetish shit. Man, I don't eat that bullshit. They actually make the lasagna awful. Hate feta cheese. You're feta shaming. Yeah. You come in, I look. I know feta. I look at D-Lo. D-Lo got head and plate. Yeah, Pat, this shit good. Oh, okay, let me dive in then. They got Caesar salad, warm bread. Oh, yeah, man. Can I get seconds, please? Yes, please. Can I get seconds? Yeah, great elite lasagna. That's not a very billionaire uh, dish, though. It is. 
It is. Why isn't it? I have so much money. I don't have to you know, have some lasagna. No, it's like a family plate type of dish. That's the dollar stretches with lasagna. Maybe, maybe that's the, the, the vibe of it. So, you know, family vibe. So you got to go to this place in New York called Don Angie. No, I'm cool. Best lasagna in the world. I had two of the best lasagnas in the world. One was my mother. One came from Mr. Taylor. And Why Mr. can't Taylor. you go to this place? I'm recommending. I'm, I'm cool. Two, I'm trying to put you fine. on. Two is fine. This place is a great Italian restaurant. Two is fine. Thank my you. <laughs> Next question. Hey guys, let's take a second to talk about Game Time. Game Time, the official ticketing partner of Barstool Sports, the official ticketing partner of the Pat Bev Pod. But just because you love a podcast that's predominantly about basketball and life doesn't mean that you're not into, I don't know, baseball. And so what you do is you pull up the Game Time app, you look at something like this, local tickets, New York Yankees, and you will be astounded by how good the prices are on these tickets. I mean, I'm looking at a Yankees game right now. It says the tickets are $3 and up. Three dollars to go to a baseball game through game time. I mean, not only are you experiencing one of the best ticket interfaces, one of the best ways to purchase just a couple taps, but you are in the process of creating memories that will last you a lifetime. They say usually when you go to a sporting event, you don't remember who won the game, but you remember who you were there with. You remember the experience and game time is offering you a better experience to get to the experience. And that's why I mean, I basically take it everywhere that I go. Game Time, the official ticketing partner of Barstool Sports, and you can take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code PATBEV for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Download the Game Time app today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. All right, friends, let's take a second and talk about the Draft King Sportsbook, the official gambling partner of the Pat Bev Pod and of all of Barstool Sports. The NBA season is in full swing, and you know that means that we can't get enough action on the court. So we're going to have to spice things up with the Draft King Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA. Right now, new customers can get a five, they can get bet five bucks and get one hundred fifty dollars instantly on bonus bets. I mean, the app is so easy to interface. Completely blows all the other ones out of the water. You can just go ahead, pick your game. What do you want to go over under? You want to go pick the line? I mean, we have Cavs against Suns. This week, we're talking about playoff teams. You're basically getting a preview, and you can enhance your watching experience, spice it up a little bit with a little bit of responsible gambling, with a little bit a little bit of a responsible betting. Nothing is more fun than adding the spice of a little bit of a wager to go along with one of the best sports on this beautiful planet. That's why DraftKings is taking you there. North Carolina listeners, they don't don't you guys forget that the DraftKings Sportsbook is now live in your state. We got some tournament games coming up and, you know, North Carolina State still represented. So root for the home team. Get some bets in today. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app. Use code Roan. New, new customers can bet five bucks to get $150 instantly in bonus bets on DraftKings Sportsbook with code Roan. The crown is yours. <laughs> what were those pink shoes you were wearing? You like those Easter Bunny shoes? Those are tough. You like that? Yeah. Yeah, like the and they glow in the dark. What were they? My Paul George's. Shout out to Paul George. He don't even wear shoes. I wear shoes. So my Paul George's. What's he wearing? Cobes. I got all the Paul George's. I feel like all of Philadelphia is convinced that Paul George is going to sign there in the offseason. I see. He didn't, he didn't take the extender with the Clippers. And they love him. Imagine him, Tyrese, and B. Oh, my goodness. With, with Tobias, oh my goodness. But Philadelphia has been through this before, though. We always think that no, we're going to get... Paul George is our max. But we always think we're going to get a free, top free agent. Everyone's like, oh, LeBron's coming to Philly. He's looking at Malvern. I don't know. What's up. If I were the Clippers, I would have been, been signed off on that. I would. As soon as I got Kawhi done, I would have got Paul George. Anything you want, Paul George, for real. Elite score. Elite. Elite. And when you do that to an athlete, that does nothing but just turn them up. But are people signing in Philadelphia? Like that? Hell yeah. If you give me, man, all right, you come with the, the max, that right number, some extra perks and this that these superstars be getting. Motherfucker will be right there in Philadelphia. What perks do the superstars get? I don't know. Big suite, hotel, you know, shit like that. Oh, maybe on the road? On the road. Maybe you know, the owner knows a, a guy who has a plane or some shit. You know, you want to potentially buy a plane. You know, you can, you know, these owners have connections everywhere. So shit, yeah, you get... 
elite treatment. Is that written in the contract or that's hush hush? I don't know. I'm not a max guy, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> I know I'm I got looking my, at this. Where is I, it? I got my shit and I was like, yeah, I want sweet. Every room I went to. Yeah, every room I go to on the road, I want the sweet. They're like, okay. I'm like, yeah, that's it. All right. Uh, you know. <laughs> Two sweets. <Right. laughs> Sweet. One for Coop. Right, right. One for the homie. One for the dog. One for the dog. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Go yard bowl. Yeah. <laughs> One for the dog. You know what's going on. Uh yeah, the the uh the, the shoes were nice. Everything was I looking nice. Big Cat on Easter. Yeah, he told me. He told me you called him before you called me, bro. Did he tell you what I said? Uh, he, he said you. He said you said the same thing over and over like twenty times. What'd you say? He goes, "That's it. That's all I get." Uh, yeah, Happy Easter. He's he, Jewish, bro. So what? Uh, exactly. That's why I call him. <laughs> Just a reminder. <laughs> Happy Easter. He uh, okay? That's anything else I know. Happy Easter. He okay? Hangs up. Texts me. Hey, yo, Pat. I what up? He happy Easter. I love guy. <laughs> love, 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 love. You should have hit him up for Passover, bro. What no, the no, fuck? No, no, no. Happy Easter. <laughs> You're forcing your your religion on him? No, no, I'm happy Easter. You you but you did FaceTime me. Pink sweater, turtleneck. Pink sweater, I'm festive. <laughs> yeah. Turtleneck too. Festive. <laughs> like cashmere, it looked like, or some shit. Yeah, but you gotta think, I'm I'm in Atlanta. I'm celebrating wifey birthday. Wifey birthday, March 30th. So she come fly out, you know, she's doing something crazy in Cali, but I'm on the road. So, of course, I can't dip in, dip out because, you know, we got games and shit. So wifey birthday was on the 30th. So I'm I'm preparing for that. Get news. I'm starting. Wifey at game, her birthday on game day. And I'm starting. I got to put on the show in the A. And we in Black Hollywood. I got to put on the show. And hey, yeah. Yeah. two foot eight town down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, man, it was a cool little, it was a cool little vibe, man. The next day is Easter, Holy Week. I get on plane. My chaplain, my 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 my, my spiritual coach, I like to call him. His night, his name is Mike Roses. Mind you, he's the younger brother of a guy named Gearson Roses. Gearson Roses is the guy who came and got me from overseas to play for the Houston Rockets. Gearson Roses. Is actually the same guy who got hired by Minnesota and got me to go to Minnesota. His brother is my uh, spiritual coach. He texts, how's hand? I hand, okay. He, I want to pray over hand. Uh, okay. I call you after the game. Right? Okay. I remind me because sometimes I forget. He, no problem. He reminds me. Mind you, he reminds me. But when he reminds me, I look at the set of my man, I'm, I'm in. It's hundreds and hundreds of dollars on a, on a gambling table. We, we playing cards on the plane. Ah, He's going to come in and flip the tables like I, Jesus at the temples, bro. I got I to gotta take the call, though. Got to. What you mean? Can't say no. Answer. He. Hey, I'm on a plane. He. I don't even need you to say anything. I'll take it from here. Ah, He put left hand over right wrist. I put left hand over right wrist. Left foot, right stomp. Right. He say long prayer. He goes, Holy Week, I'm going to show you how good Jesus Christ is. Move your hand. Do you feel anything? No, chap. Move it up and down. Do you feel anything? Ah. No. Tell me if you feel anything throughout the whole week. Mind you, this is way before the Atlanta Hawk game. This is us flying to Atlanta. He's talking about you feel pain or like anything. Divine... If I feel anything, anything in my, my wrist, that's pain. Yeah. I oh, got protect the whole body. This, this, that, that. Every time you go through a whole prayer, mind you, hey, people wait. Come on, Pat, man. Come on. We got cars to play. I'm, I'm on playing eyes closed like this, holding wrist, right? <laughs> Phone like this, All right? Amen. Amen. Hang up call. Next game, 18, 5 and 5. I start. Bring him on the road with you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Give him travel, the second tweet. Travel. Travel. He has to travel. travel. He has to travel. You're yeah. going to be on the bench. Shout out to shout Everybody's out to Mike. getting Gatorade. You just have your hand getting prayed on over here by Chaplin. Shout out to Mike. True story, too. Spiritual advisor. True story. True story. Man, Damn. he's been like my spiritual advisor. I mean, you talk about Rocket Day since I played for the Rockets. How many prayers do you think you get? 
I mean, a whole bunch, right? You think he's got like 40 more for you less? I mean, <laughs> I, mean I just got a lot of people love me, man. You know, I just, you know, I just go. A lot of love. Lot love of love. is a, a more powerful than any drug. Yeah, any drug. Truly is. It truly is. Yeah, damn. Sick story. And I'll tell you what the other sick story. I'm, I got three on the game. I need one more. I called my son, Spank. Spank, man, what's up, man? What you doing, man? Get on the game. Dad, 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 dad. I'm outside. I'm outside with my cousins. <laughs> I mean, fuck that. Get your ass out. Get on the game, man. What you doing? <laughs> when I go home, dad, I get on the game. Like, he was like, Damn, dad, chill, bro. Relax. I get home, I get home type shit. So, yeah, shout out to Every other parent is dying for their kid to get outside. Even, yeah, even sicker. Yeah. Your kid's outside. You're like, get your ass inside. We got video games to play, son. <laughs> you quit fucking about. Get on the game. That's hilarious. Shout out to Spank, man. Shout out to an absolute legend. I had a good time hanging out with him. Dude, I, uh, Saturday night, my wife and I are chilling watching, uh, watching TV. She's like, I want to watch Selling Sunset. Okay. Who do I see? Mandana. <laughs> yeah, episode three. I see your lovely girlfriend popping on screen, selling sunset. Who's she talking to? She's talking to, I didn't realize that Mauricio and Kyle Richards' daughters are the uh, real estate agents, because I'm a Bravo guy. I'm always watching, uh, you know, uh, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and all that. I didn't realize that this is the same cast that I know so well. Yeah. And then she's like, my boyfriend plays for the... Did you sit up like... What the hell? What's going on here? <laughs> What's all this? Yeah, so she was on season one also. But Oh, no, that's when I was, I was watching season one. So she's on season two, too? Oh, yeah, I thought you were talking about season two. No, no, season one. <laughs> no, 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 no. She's on season two, too. You, wait, are you on it, too? I'm literally on it, too. What? Based on Netflix and everything. What? Yes. They what? give me a wait. little title at the bottom. Yeah. What did it say? What was the title? NBA star. Patrick <laughs> Bradley gave me star. Okay. That didn't give me superstar. Gave me star, though. That's love. Yeah, that's love. They must that's have known love. your yeah. situation. Yeah. <laughs> we were trying to buy a home in uh, Malibu. Worth, worth about eight. And, uh, yeah, we was going to split it. Split the keys on the house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because a lot of... Regular folks split the bill. Yeah, right. <laughs> so like you know, splitting the house. You got split. You know, wife, you got bankroll. So we would go split. We would go split uh, the eight. Um, 75, 25? Shit, 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 shit. You know, 50, I'm a player. 50. Yeah, baby, I got it. I got it. I got it all. You know, she just... Just, do the, just, just redo the house inside. I'll take care of the house type shit. Right. She got the so show. So we've been trying to find another house because we both have spots in, um, in Los Angeles. I mean, in Cali. We both got spots and, uh, you know, we're just trying Surrounding to- Surrounding areas. Yeah, we're just trying to find- uh, Unify. Yeah, one one spot. Unite the clans. Yeah, Did all. you find a place? I don't know. We started in, we started in Malibu. It was, it, was, it was pricey, but not that big. We need, we need stuff with a lot of space. What, uh, what's it like when they're filming the TV show and all that? Can you have like natural- I wasn't there. I thought you said you were on it. I was on the phone. I was, she FaceTimed oh, me. Oh, copy. She FaceTimed me like, yeah, babe, I'm at the house. It's 8 million. Bob, 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 bob. I'm all right. How I look. If you like it, let's get that bitch. You know me. I don't get no fuck. Like, let's get it. Can't be wrong in real estate. Let's get that shit. So, I guess we, we weren't able to get it for some reason. Yeah, there'll be more houses. So yeah, there'll, there'll be a season. But the three. first house she's saying that bitch was like sixteen million. Yeah, that that, that one was, was like insane. It was like crazy. She was like, "It reminds me of my house in Dubai." Yeah. I was like, "That's a flex." And I'm like, "She got a crib in Dubai, G." And I don't really like to really speak on like her guts and all that shit, but like. She got a spot in Dubai, bro. Twenty million dollar house, bulletproof. Why? Was my question. What? I'm gonna just leave it right there. Bulletproof house. House. I never heard of bulletproof house before. <laughs> she told me that shit. Showed me that shit. Ah, what the fuck? You know, she got like, she's a. Uh, not interior designer, but like architecture designer. Yeah. So every house that she has, family has, she's decorated inside of every house. When I mean decorate, I mean to the where the light fixtures are, to the smallest things. No, there are beautiful light fixtures at the house that uh, I saw the one time. Everything was incredible. Yeah, she did. I was super she, yeah, impressed. She a killer. Wife, you don't play. So did you get to? And she don't play about me. 
Baby, they traded me. Who the fuck traded you? I'm fucking about 18. Ah, right, yeah. Say something else. Say one more thing. I'm going to have my girl by, your, by, by the team. I'm going to fire everybody. <laughs> Type of shit. She be all. Glenn Taylor yeah, better watch. Yeah, yeah, she be wild. wild. She crazy. A-Rod better watch yeah, out. Yeah, she wild. She wild. Is that why Minnesota he showed traded you? Me, she, how much is the NBA team? Ah, right, yeah, baby. They traded me. Fuck them, baby. Yeah. By the team, fire everybody. She, yeah, I own the team. Have you be... I don't know, president, coach, whatever you want to be. I, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do that shit. <laughs> you like yeah. jump into her arms? <laughs> <laughs> nah, not too much, bro. I'm the man, bro. Of course. Cheers, cheers. I forgot. Cheers, cheers. Um, shout out to wifey. Shout out to wifey. Um, She's elite, by the way. Did you get to meet the, the, uh, the Mauricio or any of the people from that show no. at all? You never got to meet him? Melissa. Oh, Mauricio is the guy. The, I never the met father anyone of the family. The cast except Melissa. Okay. I think I'm saying her name wrong. So potentially. Yeah. Seem like good good folk though. Good folk. Good folk. A lot of paper. A lot of paper. Good folk got a lot of paper. I see you going on like a real housewives show before it's all said and done. You know I mean, I between her and my mother, I don't think I have a choice. And you, I don't really think I have a I'm choice. I'm not gonna fuck it. I'm the last person that would go on one of those shows. You know I mean, we're gonna be we gonna have a show somewhere down the line. So. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Reality though. Yeah. Um Joel and B might be coming back. I heard Big Homie coming back. That's so awesome. That's great. Imagine that's, great. imagine that's the Chico for the Sixers that he just got his rest. You know what I mean? He comes back healthy. Usually he's hurt in the playoffs. Now he's healthy for playoffs. Could be dangerous. Potential potential Bucks. Say we might be either we do what we're supposed to do. Either what? Two seed. Yeah. So that means what? Philly, Miami. Or Chicago or Indy, I think, are the last I mean, four. But you got to think: Chicago, Atlanta, Philly, Miami, oh, Atlanta, yeah, yeah, Indiana, Orlando, all great cities. Great, great basketball cities. Great atmospheres for basketball. So either way, win win. Yeah, it would be very interesting poetically. But imagine Philly though. Doc got to go through Philly. Philly wants that. I'm sure Doc wants that. Every it would just be very interesting. I have to take this. This is my girl. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Ron say Ron told me that he I'm doing a pod right now. Ron told me that he was watching buying Beverly Hills, buying Sunset, oh. selling Sunset, <laughs> selling Sunset. When did, he, when did he think about it? He was telling me about the first season. He he knew nothing about the second one. Oh, the second one is a whole different thing. Yeah. He has to watch it. It's way more interesting. Yeah, I, I told him. I told him. I'm going to check it out. Then I told him about your bulletproof house. <laughs> yeah, I do want to send you photos. Yeah, send yes. me photos. Send me photos. <laughs> okay, I will. All right, love you. Bulletproof house? Why does the house have to be bulletproof? I don't know, bro. Who's I, shooting I don't at a questions. house? I, I, don't ask, I don't ask questions, bro. Maybe I should. Yeah, I got what? homies that's got shot up. I don't really tell stories about them, so yeah, yeah. That's, I just keep the bullets. With you the better bullets take at. them to Dubai. That's They'll it. be safe. Yeah, oh, man, chill, chill, chill. Put them in the living room. Wow, this is our house in Iran. This ain't even our oh, spot. Oh, this is Iran. Dubai. I gotta get to Iran. No, you can go. Wait, Wait. I, we go to Iran. They might keep our ass there. No, not. We know the. You know what I mean? The girl boss. Chill, 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 chill. chill. I mean, positively. Yeah, right, right. But um. Another thing that happened in Philly was Kelly Oubre marking out the rest. Oh, man. Good God. Good God. That was awful. That was God awful. Yeah. That was awful. That was a bad game. Bad uh, call or what? Yeah, that was a bad officiating game. The, the officials kind of admitted that they messed up that <sighs> yeah, call. That was a tough one. Worst officiating because, game since Celtics-Lakers last year? I mean, I don't know. We won't get into all that. But that was a tough one because, like, they changed this new rule of, like, defense. They're allowing guys to... I have one more beer, please, if you don't mind, sir. Um, that they allow the they 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 allow the defenders to kind of like, you know, jump into someone's body, you know, uh, defend a little bit more physical, physical than than usual. So um, they they're they're starting not to call a lot of fouls. So, in some cases, you know, can't get them calls no more. In some cases. They admitted that though that they were they were messed up, that they had made a mistake there. Uh, <laughs> no look, ski. No look. No look. I'm um, not the snatch, bro. I just asked you to pour a little beer, bro. You don't have to be like that. Be nice. This guy here, man. The best. 
producers, man. The best. Um, Nas vs. Ivaska. The uh, the he got fined fifty thousand dollars though. Nifty fifty. That hurt when you're on the minimum. Say what you want, fifty hurt. I got fined fifty for that motion. That shit hurt. You weren't on the minimum either. Yeah, yeah, then I got fined for that AR shit happened helping his ass on the Lakers. That shit hurt too. That's about two hundred. Them fines build up. Yeah. He he kind of said that he was remiss that he had to do all that because he wants to, he didn't want to respond with anger, but at the same time he was like, "You're a bitch. Your dad's a bitch. Your mom's a bitch. Your grandma's a bitch." Yeah, that was pretty. That was. Yeah, but she's you know me. I'm on that team. I I I catch that. Don't even happen. Yeah, because you would have been saying it. No, I would never call nobody. You know, I would never call nobody a bitch. That's fighting words where I'm from, so I wouldn't even use that word. Yeah, but you would have been in the officials. Pocket. No, I, not on the. You wouldn't. No, hell no, no, not like that. Maybe the game's not even close if I'm there. I agree with that. The, the Sixers will definitely benefit from having MB back. Wow. They've been going through. A, I mean, a, a little bit of a slide in the standings. So I'm excited for them to have MB mm. back. And uh, but I is mean, the play in? You understand the play in is just one game though. So that's the thing. So tough. You know what I'm saying? That's so tough, especially if you never played in it before. Like right? the Bulls are familiar with it. Atlanta's familiar with it. The Heat's familiar with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not discrediting Philly at all. Like, having Joel any fucking game, like, it's fucking, you're, you're, you're one of the top top teams having them healthy, right? But that play-in shit, that shit ain't, like, we lose the play-in with Minnesota if Carl Anthony Towns doesn't foul out. It's the only reason we won. They scouted for Carl Anthony Towns. They was locking us up. They was beating us. I think they had us down, like, 12, 13. He was in foul trouble. They didn't scout for Nas Reed. Nas Reed played well, and that's how we won the game. We literally won the game because Carl Anthony Towns, our main player at the time, fouled out. So Threw it's off no, the scouting report. Yeah, yeah, so it's not like a, a feel. It's just one game. It's like March Madness. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Let's play a game then. Okay. Who is the most dangerous seed Philly. below a five seed in both conferences? Philly. Well, I want so so Philly in the East. You're Philly saying is the East. most dangerous. That's below a five seed. So where's that? Five to ten. Uh, Sacks probably Sacks like three or four. Okay, so I'm going Lakers. Lakers. Yeah. Great answer. Yes. The, literally, they went to the West Conference Finals from playing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was gonna say Heat, but Joel is back now, so that's the only reason I didn't say Heat. If I, if, you know, if Joel was those bottom four teams are the most dangerous in the West. Yeah, you can lose any one of those things. Suns. Mavs, Warriors, Lakers. I like Lakers though. Like you can't ever count out Lakers. They have size. They have when it's time for them. You know they've been hurt all season. When it's time for them to turn on the shit, they'll turn it on. Like so. And as it stands right now, we're gonna have a Lakers Warriors elimination game. I mean, not if uh, Houston Rockets got some shit to say about it. Houston Rockets could be in the mix you too. Know what I'm saying so. Like yeah, yeah. But you would love to see that Lakers. It's like they've been playing each other every play in though. I know it's interesting. <laughs> that shit's kind of like. Crazy. Yeah, the NBA is up to something. I like seeing it, though. Yeah, hell yeah. I like watching those two teams yeah. play against one another. Uh, it, it's very interesting times. Let's go through a little bit more stuff that's going on in the NBA. What about? Some starting fives? Yeah. We got some starting fives. Let's do starting fives. What we got? Presented by New Amsterdam Vodka. <sighs> New Amsterdam Vodka. This starting five is brought to you by New Amsterdam Vodka. New Amsterdam Vodka, born from an uncompromising passion for great <laughs> vodka. Pour me up, my friend, because you know I need some of that New Amsterdam Vodka. Day off, day at the beach, day with the family, day with your friends. Make sure New Amsterdam Vodka is your drinking companion because it is guaranteed to catapult you into a good time. You can find your wins today with the three times filtered five times distilled new amsterdam vodka there's something about it a je ne sais quoi as they say that <laughs> you know really elevates any time that you want to have whether it's a new amsterdam mule that you're having a vodka martini with new amsterdam vodka why not there are endless possibilities new amsterdam cosmo new amsterdam mule it doesn't matter but new amsterdam will balance out any type of drinking experience that you'd like to have so enjoy some new amsterdam vodka today our starting five find your wins with new amsterdam vodka our starting five all-time nba hairstyles oh that's a that's a good one all-time NBA hairstyles. Okay. And it's 
player based. So not just the hairstyle, but the person who exemplified that Alan hairstyle. Alan Harrison's number one. Number one, Corn Rose. Corn Rose. Uh, Revolutionized the game, him having Corn Rose. Next. What? I'm not doing an order. I'm just doing Birdman Mohawk. I mean, he has some crazy ass hairstyle. And so which one is the definitive hairstyle? His the, mohawk? Yeah, the, the, the rooster. The ro- <laughs> yeah, I think one day he had the rooster. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, Michael Jordan. The baldy. Gotta go baldy. Yeah. Michael Jordan, the baldy is baldy, tough. Baldy is always tough. Um, that's very tough. So that's three. Let me see what else we got. You want me to, if you want me to sprinkle suggestions, no, I can. No, 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 no. I'm going to name my three. You name your five. You're taking some of my five. Okay, well, you name the ones I don't name. Okay, okay. Uh, you got to go player. What's the hairstyle? Let me help you with these. Okay. How's my three so far? Three is excellent. Okay. I wouldn't have said Birdman, but I, just because I don't think as many people have it. But it is iconic, yeah, but no one tried to duplicate it. How about the Dr. J Afro? The fro, how forget about the fro. The fro, you can't forget the fro. Also done well by Ben Wallace, but you have to give the Sean fro to- Sean Livingston. Sean Livingston had to- give it to Julius Herb though. Yeah, Julius had the original, it was the original fro. So this one's, this next one's tough. The high top or the, the flat top. Which one, a Pip one or a Sean Kemp one? I was going to say the Patrick Ewing or the Amon Shumpert. Ah, uh, <laughs> Shump did have a motherfucking kid in play. He had the eraser head. He had the motherfucking eraser on top of his shit, didn't he? Yeah. Them his great shit was ones. tall. Those are great ones. Yeah. That, Those are great ones. So we got Michael Jordan. With the body. Alan Iverson. With the raids. Birdman. Birdman with the, with the hawk. The got the fro. <laughs> Dr. Dr. J. Dr. J fro. High top fade. Don't For forget high. Shump, Shump. Don't forget high. Yeah. And high top. High top. I want my high top high. High, high, high as hell. As Closer I, to God. Listen, Mark Simpson. <laughs> I want you to measure me and I'm six seven when I'm done. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. I like that. You one. could rest something on top of that. Yeah. Other ones that we uh like Steve. Have you guys seen my PlayStation? It's on top of your shit. <laughs> right. Yeah. Say that. Right. Easter egg hunt. Right. Say that. It's up say on that. the yeah. top. You lean yeah. back. Hey Arnold style, bro. Right. Like you Move need the crap. Yeah. 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 Um Steve Nash with the shaggy hair. That was like kind of like another motherfucker. That was a cool little look. He hit a motherfucker with a triple double fixed hair. Ah, this motherfucker cold. <laughs> yeah. This motherfucker cold. That shit was cold for sure. I'm trying to think which which other iconic uh uh I mean like jaw with like the nappy fro. I started that. The nappy fro, that's true. I came Were you with the, the nappy originator? fro. I came with the nappy fro slash dreads, because they were so nappy. Part of it was dreads, part of it was fro. Next thing you know, everybody started getting the nappy fro. The nappy fro dreads. The nappy friends. <laughs> the friends. What you talking about? I started that shit. Yeah. The friends. Friends. When are we going to see the Fred again, bro? Never. <laughs> no? Never. I'm about to cut the dreads. I thought we were going to see it in like 10 days or no, something. I'm going to cut the dreads. When I'm done playing, I'm going to cut the dreads. No, bro. Keep to, those shits. I'm going to have to be coaching. I have to look different. What? Coach can't have dreads? I just, I don't want to be that coach with dreads. Who's the iconic dreadhead? In the NBA? Of all time. Wayne. No, no, in the NBA. Oh, uh, NBA? Hold on, don't you answer this one. Let me answer this one. This isn't for me to answer. You gotta give it to Ja, no? Yeah, I think Ja. You gotta give it to Ja. You put a little red in this shit, a little highlighted shit, a little blue in this shit, yeah, you gotta give it to Ja. Yeah, I, I like that. He made it okay. Because, you know, that shit was frowned upon for a while in NBA. Why? I don't know. Just people weren't used to it. Ignorant is bliss. Just people weren't just used to it, you know? So, yeah. Inter- Interesting. Yeah. Timeless, timeless hairstyles. Um, let's talk a little bit of NCAA tournament, and we'll do a smooth little segue because we're talking about style. We're talking about girls or boys because <laughs> girls over there lit tonight. I mean, we're... Two nights ago. Yeah, we got to do it both ways. I can't believe Iowa won. I'm I'm going for Juju Watkins. I can't. Oh, USC. 
Yeah, Iowa. You, I mean, LSU beat them last year, right? I'm going. I'm going with Juju Watkins. Yeah, to win it all. I mean, she has obviously the Angel Reese and NBA game. They said how many points would Caitlin Clark average in the NBA? They said maybe 15. They said, but Pat Bev's putting clamps on her. You would though, right? You'd have to. Otherwise, that'd be sexist. You can't treat her differently. You gotta lock her ass up. Like Hillary Clinton. <laughs> anyway, so the NBA, the men's. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to answer that one. Jared, Next thing you know, I go, they go kill me, Did mom. you see, bro? <laughs> oh, they go kill me. How you talking about the black <laughs> yeah. folks on top of your ass like a motherfucker, uh, 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 a motherfucker pot on the stove? Yeah. Yeah, that's how the, motherfuckers, the white folks going to be on top by ass yeah. and females. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I get it from two ways, bro. Right. We yeah, and, the and they hit me with this one wrong. We knew that's how he was. They put they 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 they, they give me shit. We I knew that. Right. We, we knew those snow bunnies. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I'm a. Uh, She's Iranian. First of all. All yeah, right. Yeah. So I'm a just. Uh, Second of all, yeah. the bro on Duke, McCain, Hooper. Yeah. They just lost, but so, a great shot. I think he'll be all right in the NBA. But he has a cool little TikTok game, and also he paints his nails. What do we think about that? Teach his song. Don't give a fuck. Nah, live I mean, and let live. Yeah, I'm, my mom, she raised me off doing nails. So, I, but this is a man doing his nails. I mean, I'm, I've seen I've seen man get manicures, and you know, some guys like to keep their hand clean. You don't think it uh, contributes to the corrosion of the male gender that uh, men are becoming less masculine because they're painting their nails? I mean, that, everybody got their own thing. I, mean, I don't really get into all that. Love it. That was the yeah. right answer. Yeah, I don't really judge him. I can't judge my fuck off they color they Especially because he's hooping, dude. He might as well yeah, have a little extra like you know, swag to him or whatever he wants you, to do. Do whatever the fuck you want to do, man. Honestly. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Man. As long as you're not hurting nobody, man. Um, Purdue in the final four. I like Big Fella. I said I like Big Fella a while ago though. Yeah, but I mean he's also like the they were like a number one seed. It wasn't like you were Nostradamus saying yeah. that the seven four of fucking James Bond villain was gonna be a hooper, but he did he had career high forty points. That's a guy out there fixing the trees and roses or taking pictures of us. You can't see you. There's tulips up there. I, I see them behind the tulips. I was gonna say starting five flowers, bro. Tulips. Eagle roses. Roses, roses, power forward. Tulips for me, though, are fucking, they make that starting five. Sunflowers. That's your center right there. <laughs> Sunflowers. Sunflowers, Yellow tulips, sunflowers. roses. What, what What else? Chrysanthemums. Mums. Day. What about Daisy? Daisy. <laughs> Daisy could run two for me yeah, any day. Yeah, run, Daisy could run deuce for me. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Daisy deuce. Roses, my what? That's your three. Yeah, tulips. Four. Roses. Daisies, sunflowers are five. Sunflowers. And what's your last one? Mums. Uh, uh, I don't know my, my point. Hydrangeas. No, don't know what those are. Lilies. Love a lily. <laughs> lily. lily. Give me lily. Lily, yeah, lily but, pad. Yeah. L Lily Pat Bell. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Lily LaBelle. Yeah, she like sounds that. like a fucking bar to me, bro. Nah, say bless. I saw I saw a goddamn Tony Kukoc slandering the two time MVP Nikola Jokic. Uh, what do you say? He said that Jokic isn't at the level of Lottie Divac, uh Arvidas Sabonis. And Dino Radha, Raja, Raja, I don't even know who this is, and I watched basketball in the 90s. Uh -huh. Okay. Who is Dino Raja? Okay. And Jokic isn't at his level? This sounds like an old dude hating on a younger generation for no reason. It's very interesting because they're from, I don't know. Eastern Europe? I wouldn't say the same place, but a time ago they were from the same place, Yugoslavia. So I'm trying to see where. Is there some type of conflict that's yeah. spurring this on? But you have to understand, he was, you know, Vladi Divac was battling against Shaq every night. Every championship. Like that was his. Yeah, like, but. The Achilles heels of Shaq. But Joker won a championship. Divac never made it out of the Western Conference Finals. I'm, I'm just trying to give you a perspective of one of the old guy, the drunk old guy saying shit in, in, in the microphone. 
You feel me? I'm just trying to help him out a little bit. I love Tony Kukoc. I love the bull. So I, he say some shit. Oh, yeah. Tony Kukoc said it. Eh. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I take it with a grain of salt. So you don't think he's on to something? And he is on to something. Drugs. What do you mean on to something? <laughs> yeah, he's on to good drugs. What are you talking he's about? putting the coke yeah, in Tony Kukoc. Well, that's sometimes coke. Too, too, too much. Relax. What are you talking about? But say less. I mean, that's what, 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 what can you say? Um, Luca kind of, if we're talking about marked out, marked out episode, uh, Luca marked out Vladi Divac after the game. He was hit, hit, uh, basically Tra- game yeah, winner. Should have drafted me. Should have drafted me. <laughs> mm. He's not wrong. Not wrong. I mean, who they get? Bagley, Marvin Bagley from uh, Duke. He's not. I mean, he's not Luca. Uh, he's not. He's definitely Luka. not Luca. He's not Luca. Bagley, I we mean, play, I'm going to play Marvin Bagley tomorrow, so I don't want to say nothing. And, or we played him yesterday. Right. So, yeah. yeah. Awful pick. God awful pick. Proof is in the pudding. I, I mean, mean, the guys drafted after him, not only Luca, but Trey Young. These are good players. Not elite players. <laughs> they messed up. Actually, elite. Well, you know, no one's perfect. And when well, you look at the standings, hard. The Drafting Kings, hard. Kings are hard, higher in the standings Drafting than both is, of those teams. Drafting is hard. Drafting is very hard. Speaking of, they're saying that this upcoming draft class is the worst one in 20 years. Damn. Who in this bitch? That's what they're asking. Yeah, I don't know neither. Cooper Flag. Is he in this one? He's no, in not high yet. Schooler. Yeah, he's next one. Yeah, I don't know a soul in this one. Bro. Yeah. There's going to be some guys going first round that we don't know about. Love that. That's good, though. Yeah, 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 good for everybody. They see they got to stop drafting every year. That's what it's going to come down to. Well, also, Giannis was picked 15th. Six. No, Nerlens Noel was sixth that year. He was? Oh, man. Good one, bro. 2014? Nerlens Noel was picked six because the Sixers traded that pick yeah, for... Good call. Drew Michael, Holiday, Michael Carter, and they took Michael Carter-Williams Carter at 11. Yeah. yeah. He had a great first game. Um, but there's, there'll be a good player that arises. And I think that people have, I mean, so much is playing into this. NIL is playing into this. You don't see the G League Ignite team, like guys overvalued some of the players last year that were in the G League. Meanwhile, we see more guys making money in the NCAA tournament, which brings us to Big Boy from NC State. Big Birdie. Did you see Big uh, 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 DJ Burns? No, Big Burns. There we go. Big Burns. Big Burns. Double wide trailer. Yeah, yeah. D- DJ Burns. DJ. And I got dreads, and I'm shaking my shit as I play. And yeah, he yeah. walks out like Trent Williams with the fucking boombox and yeah, shit like give that. give me Zach Randolph vibes. Big Burns. <laughs> Big Burns. Elite passer out of the post. Smithers. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Burns Mr. Burns, Burn, bro Yeah, man, you putting in good work Everybody root for him, the whole world Yeah, he, That's what I love about NCAA Your stock can rise so crazy You can go from not no, no one knowing who you are To like top five draft pick They were going to be out of the ACC tournament If it weren't for a buzzer beater That sent them to overtime against Virginia And they might not have even made the NCAA tournament 11 seed, now they're in the final four Impressive story. Impressive. And they have bro playing during Ramadan, so he's fasting the entire time. That's true. Very yeah. impressive. Yeah, they got they got a lot of stuff going on. I like insisting. Talented White. They have a, yeah, some good stuff going on. I got on. UConn, though. Yeah, UConn's incredible. Clinging, yeah. that, the, the big man that they have. Yeah, we got AJ Jackson on our team. I'm like, yo, UConn going to win it all? He's like, yeah, fat. Like, so, yeah, shout out to AJ Jackson. I guess he, he played there last year and won. They're unbelievable. Yeah, Covered unbelievable. 10 straight games. Not only are they beating teams, they're whipping ass. And they built the ass. Belt to ass. Yeah, ass and belt. Yeah, yeah. The true embodiment of belt to ass. True. Yeah, super impressive. Great coaching, great sets, everything they got going on over there. But Did you check out my green belt to ass t-shirt I wore when they played the Lakers? Tough. And a lot. First off, love gang. Relax. Come on, bro. And I saw you posted a fucking hat on your Instagram. Oh, you like that new hat? When's that coming? coming? Out? Cause I like the dad hats. I like the little dad hats. I, I seen the Yak hat one. I yeah, the Forty Seven brand. Those I like Forty Seven brand. Shout out to Forty Seven brand, man. If y'all fuck with the pod, I, I hope y'all do. Make me some motherfucking hats. Love, 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 love. Yeah. So yeah, I got the Love Gang. Love Gang is tough, but it, it gives me golf vibes. You, I know you're gonna golf this off season. You and Mike gotta go golfing. You Michael, know, some, people, some, some people they call me Patty Gilmore. Some people, but you know, I don't want to toot my own horn. 
you know, but uh Padrag Harrington. I mean I can, you know. Yeah. I can hit a ball. <laughs> I saw a video. It didn't look that good. That's cap. That's actually cap. It didn't look good. <laughs> It didn't look that good. What does that that good mean? I've never hit a golf ball ever. What is that uh, well, good? That's what I mean. You look like you never hit a golf ball ever. So it doesn't look good. It doesn't look that good. The it went, fuck was it that went like 170 yards on like a drive or something like that. You know what I mean? My, I'm not that good at golf. What you hit? Same shit. Why would you hit 170? Why wouldn't you hit 150? I don't know. Should we have a long drive contest? Yeah, what the fuck, yes. All right, let's have a long drive contest Say then. Less. Patty Gilmore. Yeah, what the fuck is you talking about? I'm not scared. You shouldn't be. You're wrong. What? <laughs> I'm not. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I'm uh, golf content always plays. Every brand's jumping on golf content. It's the way to go. I fuck with the golf. Uh, Russ gets into it with another fan. Yeah, he got to chill, man. Russ does? Yeah, he got to chill. Russ don't like motherfucker disrespecting his name. He don't like that West Brick shit. I wouldn't like that shit neither, but... The more you give it attention, light on it, the more people go to try to use it to, to to go viral. Like, this is a viral world we live in now, so. And they say when you argue with fools from a distance, no one can tell who's who. Mm. And he's arguing with a dude in a balloon hat. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, he shouldn't. He don't waste your time with that, Russ. Yeah. Straight up. I think he's Greatness. Russell Westbrook. Greatness. 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 I can't believe he signed a two-year contract. Greatness. So they're getting him for another $4 greatness. million. Dollars. Greatness. Greatness. Russell Westbrook, greatness. Greatness. Brian Windhorst said that Jalen Brunson is a foul merchant. Mm. That he doesn't get the, uh, the same scrutiny that guys like James Harden who bait fouls do. But I mean, he deep will down, next year, though. You, you got to get so? that all-star first so you get those calls. You got that all-star on his belt. Yeah, the game go change from next year. You think so? For sure. That's how it go. He's on yeah. one of the best contracts in the league right now, yeah, though. That's all right. That's going to change, too. Yeah. He'll get paid. Yeah, definitely go get that money on. Speaking of getting paid, Ron, I think I'll get some more paper this summer, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ron, Ron, I ain't going to lie to you, brother. I mean, speaking of contracts, I, it's a lot of contracts that's up for me. Go on. Basketball contract. Yeah. Up in July. Okay. Media contract. Yeah. Up in October. So it's all going up, you're saying? I mean, I, I am a, listen, when they call a 007 agent, I am a 007 free agent. I'm up too. I'm getting that paper. I'm getting some more paper for somewhere. To, Stocks for and bonds. I'm getting some more paper, Ron. You heard last time I said I was getting some more paper on the pod. I got some more paper. Ron, we getting some more paper this summer. Yeah, somebody Especially come. Especially they let you keep on starting, bro. Oh, my goodness. They don't want you to start, Listen, bro. Man. They don't want you to get the... Oh, 14, Chill. 5, and 5 is, is nice. That's very nice. 40% from three, 50% from the field, 85% from... And that's not even in counting the defense. Yeah. Or the intangibles. Yeah. We're only talking about tangibles. In the solid fucking year, man. Yeah. yeah it's not over. Knock on wood. And I, I owe Daryl Morey a thank you. Oh, wow, what happened? What put you, you put you in Milwaukee. Yeah, yeah. That's the homie. He knew what he was doing. Love, Daryl. I didn't see the vision. No. <laughs> Trust the process. I didn't see the vision. Um, should we do some bonus starting fives or should I save them? No, do a bonus one. Let's do a bonus one. There we go. You you pick. Shot. No, no. We have to go to one I said we we're gonna go to. Who are your whitest white guys in NBA? Okay. I was going to say one-on-one -on -one players, no, but no, no, we'll no, save no, that no, one for yeah, next no. week. Fuck that one-on-one -on -one shit. We going right to yeah, your whitest white guys in the NBA. Obviously, I can't be in this conversation because I'm not a white It wouldn't be right. Man. Well, yeah, you wouldn't understand. Right. You don't understand what right. it means to be white. I don't. I am don't. I am full-blooded Negro. At point guard. <laughs> so, all right, okay, well, who we got? Standing 6-1. Okay. <laughs> from the University of Arizona. T.J. McConnell. That is an elite pick. I love T.J.'s game. T.J. McConnell. He definitely gives me. Coach on the floor. Golf golf off the floor. Go, golf simulator in the living room. Right, okay, cool. Who's two? Tyler Hero. No, 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 no. Okay. 
Can't use Tyler. <laughs> he's not even invited. Not <laughs> Can't use Tyler. He's invited to the cookout. He's not invited to the barbecue. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey <laughs> relax. Okay. Gordon Hayward. Okay. Gordon Hayward at the three. He's a white man. A white man's white man. A white man's white man. I mean, I wouldn't know what that means, so. You'd have no idea. But he's a white man. Uh, Why? Why would you? He, yeah, he gives this. He gives me gel and hair vibes. Gel and hair, but uh, the, ha half the tube of gel. Oh, see, see, again, that's a white thing I would. Oh, okay. Dumping hands. Okay, say that. Shrink. Okay, say that. He's, he's had all the white hairstyles. Okay. <laughs> you go through them. <laughs> he slicked it back. He got it tight on the sides. Okay, he's done that. it all. He's seen it all and had it all, and okay. he's not mad at all. I say that. That's, that's two players. Two players. I'm not going to say Isaiah Hartenstein because I learned something this week. Hey, I told you he was a black man. Yeah. I told you Hartenstein was a black man. You have to give him. Why they ain't giving us no love from the. I literally came up. I'm, I told everyone. I'm like, you came up a, with the fact. I think he's a black man. <laughs> but he's bright. He's bright skinned. I, I, I knew I was right. Some people will dispute the fact that he's black, though, because he's white presenting. Okay, I don't know. That, presen that's not my business. White, white presenting is fire. Sam Hauser. Caucasian male. Caucasian. Yes. <laughs> Caucasian as hell. Yes. He looks like uh, he Ca was a Caucasian. Drafted into World War II. I'm like he was on the boat with a gun across his chest yeah, looking scared. The first uh, outfit in Call of Duty. The guy. Yeah. Him, yeah. yeah. Right. Bring him around your grandparents. He's wiping his feet at the door. Sweater. Around waist. All right. <laughs> hey, not above shoulders. Around the waist. <laughs> Say less. That's a white man's white man. He's, right. a, he's a white man's white man. Love that. That's th what's that three? That's three. Walker Kessler. Ooh. It's in the name. I'm talking about it is. <laughs> that is a Caucasian male. That is Walker. A, a tall Kessler. Caucasian male. The, his parents thought his name would be so cute that they rhymed it. And listen, every true story. Ever since I mentioned his name on the pod by Bill on the USA team, every time I see him, he, what's up, Pat Biff? Thanks again. I love, 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 love. Big Cass. Big Cass, love, <laughs> Big Cass. That's a great pick. Walker Kessler. Yeah. On the pod, uh, on the. And so then he gives I, me Sean Bradley vibes. I don't know why, but Sean Bradley was a white male too. Yeah, he gives me Sean Bradley vibes. He gives me I eat steak with my elbows straight out and cut right. it like this type right. of vibes. Okay, I, I don't know what that means, but me neither. Okay, say, say that. Say that. <laughs> I don't either, that's bro. Four, that's four. <laughs> and I could so so I struggle with this last one, but it's hard not to include a motherfucker named Duncan, Duncan Robinson, Duncan Robinson. White, white guy. Duncan, Robinson, Walker, Kessler. It's these names that kind of rhyme with themselves. All right. Country club. Okay. Like he mows the lawn on Sundays for fun. Oh, okay. That okay. type of thing. But I, I don't know him personally. There's something about his game or, where it's like- I mows your, your neighbor's lawn right. for fun. Mind if I do the edges? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That guy. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. 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 Mind if hey, I bro, shape up the walkway? Hey, bro, bro, who does your lawn? We're going to put out some luminarias for Christmas yeah, type yeah. of vibes. Yeah, okay, cool. Is, is, yeah. is what I get from him. A cool little five. Duncan Robinson. How many games y'all winning? If y'all, your, your five pay my, your white five pay my black five. You remember my black five? <laughs> <laughs> you, Draymond, Draymond. Uh, Bobby. Bobby. <laughs> that's, a, that's a dangerous five. Already. We're calling the cops. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a, that's a five. That's the three. Them three motherfuckers go in. Yeah, flip the furniture over. Officer, yeah. <laughs> they're threatening hey, me. <laughs> who was who was my other two? Who was my other two? Who was it? It's on. It's on the pod. DeMar. Oh, DeMar from SC Compton. And who else? James Johnson. Oh. What do you mean, oh? Enter the Dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoop an ass if we don't win. You can't, you can't win? You can't, what? Can't win? Fight out. You know the rules. <laughs> yeah. You can't beat us, beat them. Yes, sir. Yeah, but my guys know their rights. <laughs> yeah, I bet they do. Yeah, yeah. We beating y'all ass. You know your rights and lefts, though. And, and, and on, on and off the court. <laughs> y'all take L's. <laughs> 
no more violence. Peace, 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 peace. <laughs> yeah, but we're uh, our mutual funds are diverse as hell. Our, our team t- might not be diverse, but our portfolio <laughs> is. <laughs> Let's just say that. <laughs> hey, relax, man. <laughs> just say relax, that. Chill. Cool okay. little squad. The yeah, cool little squad. Cool little squad. Cool little Who am squad. I forgetting, bro? As far hey, listen, as I go, I go to whitest, whitest black dudes. Bees, but uh, Malik. Bees, Malik, Malik Bees, he goes to me. Pat, thanks, thanks so much for not saying my name. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he was gonna be in. Even him thinking he's gonna be in. You Yo, might be in. Yeah, your ass six man, dude. <laughs> fuck it. If you're even Bees, scared. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at Bees like, what? <laughs> you're from Atlanta, but okay, whatever. All right. Oh, that's really funny. That's a good one. The fact that he even thought that's that he was gonna one. be that's in the mix. One. All right, I want to talk about my MVP of the week. Pat and I, we sat down. We talked a lot about this. We didn't know if it should be Juju because USC did pretty well, but they came up short. We didn't know if it should be, you know, Angel. They did pretty well, you know, came up short, even though Angel was she was on the boards. She was hitting the boards hard. It's got to be Caitlin. It has to be Caitlin Clark. No one has had the tournament. No one has had the week that she did. Nine three-pointers. Stop playing with her. Those point totals, I mean, she's scoring over 30 points almost every time. There's something about her performance that really I, I can't wrap my head around how freaking good it's been. But maybe it's the Body Armor Zero Sugar. I don't know for sure, but Kaylin Clark is playing like she's off of the Body Armor Zero Sugar. The cherry lime that I have right here, one of my very favorite flavors, just down the entire thing. 10 calories. Come on, zero sugar. If you look anywhere today, they're saying, hey, the sugar isn't the way. Maybe we need to wane off the sugar a little bit. Well, guess what? The zero sugar over at Body Armor is doing the heavy lifting for you, and that's why they're sponsoring this MVP segment this week. Shout out to Caitlin Clark. She's been doing incredible. Shout out to the good folks over at Body Armor. I mean, hydration, no artificial sweeteners, no artificial flavors, no artificial dyes. It's as real as Caitlin Clark. It's as real as that Iowa Hawkeye, that beautiful mascot that they have over there. But he's not the MVP of the week. She is. Her. Crown her. Whether you're looking to stay hydrated or recover from a long weekend, Body Armor Zero Sugar has got you covered. Great tasting flavors like fruit punch and lemon lime. But I mean, cherry lime. (laughs) That's what I'm going with. Body Armor Zero Sugar available in stores nationwide. Head on over to the Body Armor store on Amazon and get yours today. Let's get back to the show. Subscribe to the pod. Subscribe to the mother freaking pod. I like how you wear the love game hoodie too. You rock that shit. Oh, I rock this. Yo, actually, how's this? New new challenge, especially for people who are staying till the end of this one, because those are our realest and most important fans. Uh, Why Dave just text me? Did you see what he texted me? No. He texted us. <laughs> what the fuck? Why did he send you that? That, that tweet, I told well, you that well, tweet. Well, explain the tweet. No, so Dave goes. Uh, Basically, like I didn't know I could take calls on planes. Dave goes. I have a confession. I didn't know cell phones uh, worked on planes until today. I thought you had to be on Air Force One. I thought you had to be on Air Force One to make calls. But I've answered two calls on my cell today, and they work flawlessly. I was simultaneously stunned and felt like I was breaking the law. My response. That is breaking the law. And you put other people's lives in jeopardy. Not cool. (laughs) Dave. He sends me a message of Shaquille O'Neal with his head on top. Dunking on, who's this white guy? I don't know. Dunking on a guy from the Knicks. Not Mark Stein. He can't be. With my dreads on top. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, he's the best. He's the best. Hilarious. You know, I got shit for, I got shit for like, he him saying I pay your bills. Yeah, from who? Well, I got NBA call, people call, and Tobias called me, the Mo Bomber shit. People like, Pat, man, he would have said that shit, I would have fucking quit. Tobias I, said that? I go, so why don't you quit basketball? Because who you think pay your bills from the NBA? 
Yeah, I also think that Dave and your black dude. <laughs> <laughs> no disrespect, but I'm just being honest. Yeah. Oh, you ain't never paid for the Charlotte Hornets. Yeah, right. right. That's what I'm about to say. <laughs> right, Unless it's right, fucking right. Ernie so, Johnson. So yeah. So or who's bro on the Hornet? Uh, the guy who used to own BET. I don't really know. But anyway, but uh, yeah. Who you think paying yours, buddy? You better wake up and smell the motherfucking coffee, man. For real, shit, real out here, man. Yeah, he said it. So what? But you guys also have like a relationship where you guys are texting yeah, memes to each other yeah, and people, breaking he, balls. They, they don't know that part. So they, yeah, they don't know you yeah. break balls. Yeah, yeah. So. You break balls with your teammates. Some. Some people can't handle it. Some. Or is that why you don't break balls or is because you don't like someone? I get the most out of people. And sometimes my way is an unorthodox way, but I get the best out of anybody I ever work with. Ball boy, camera guy, film lady, coach, player, nutritionist, dietitianary. The guy who brought the beers. I've never seen him you know deliver like, beers like, like that. You know, like, I'm going to challenge the shit out of you. Yeah, I'm challenging the shit out of you every day. Why are you doing this? Why are you do that? I just, you know, just to fuck with you. You know, so, yeah, I bring the best out of everybody. Test I love positive. that. You can't hurry love. Yeah, I got number love. Gang. Uh, so this is the new thing we're doing this week. Before we let you guys go, if you say it to the end, that means you are the realest of real ones. Um, hop on Spotify. Make sure you upvote us on Spotify. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, us yeah. on well, Spotify. Yeah. Let me, I got to announce that because sometimes when you announce it, they don't like to listen to you. Why? I don't want to say. <laughs> I'm just keep it there. I'll just, <laughs> and not for real because, you know, some, some of the fans, you got to talk to a little different, a little, a way that you wouldn't know how to speak. Mm -hmm. Hey, listen, motherfuckers, listen, this is what y'all got to do. Check it out. And, and if you're a kid, mother freakers. Hey, um, y'all got to rate us now, right? And I ain't talking about like, don't be the guys who don't like the pod and Raiders one. Like, I need five stars for real because I, I got a lot of shit going, man. We could possibly get a, t a fucking TV show. Like, this, these ratings, the, the more five star ratings or the, the maximum ratings we can get, we can get a fucking TV show. Literally a TV show. A fucking TV show. Me and Ron on fucking TV. Please rate us. Please rate us high. Please rate. It. Matter of fact, just tell the truth. Whatever your truth is, just, just tell it. It'll be high. Or even you just go onto Spotify and you just click follow. And it says you're following right there. It's that simple. You follow go to Spotify us. right now. Click follow. Follow us, and you we can give us a, and you can give us a five star rating on we there. We need it. Maybe even throw on notifications. We need it. Or so you I, can, or so you just click little, down. You go so rate I got show. A little family beef going on, wrong. Okay. Right. What's up? And you can always tell family beef by the holidays. Easter. Easter comes. So obviously, Grandma passed. She was the. Rest in peace, her sweet soul. It's her sweet soul. Your grandma also. Thank her you. sweet soul. But she was the female Corleone mm, of the family. The matriarch. You know, if you know what Rizal I mean. Rizal de Blanco. If you know what I mean. I understand. So, I, when grandma passed, the crown goes to my mom, right? Like, my mom is a... a Do a, a very independent woman. I'm going to say that. Very, almost too much independent. Miss independent. I'm talking about, listen. I-N-P-E-N-D-E-N-E-N-E-N-E-N-E-N-E-N-E-N-E-N-E-N-E-N-E-N-E-N-E-N-E-N-E-N-E-N-E-N-E-N-E-N-E-N-E-N-E-N-
got to start calling family for holidays. She, ah, come on. I don't want to hear it. Okay, whatever. I, Mom, I just want to take three minutes out of your time and tell you why. What were the reasons? One reason. If I die, you die. And my cousin Monique, she dies. Who's going to watch our kids? Who's going to take care of our kids? Her response, damn, you're right. Hang up, make call, family back good, right? Family is so fucking important, guys. I don't give a fuck how much money you got or don't have. How old you are. Or how young you are. Like, family, when you take, when you say, th take things for granted. Family is the number one thing we take for granted as human beings. Family is important. If your shit ain't right with your family, get your shit right. Even if you're right or even if you're wrong, it don't even matter. Be the bigger man or woman. Step up to the plate. Go make your family right. Straight like that. I told mom that. I, yeah, we like to travel. Say me and you, cuzzo, take a trip. I don't know. Car crash. We all die. Where well, we go put the kids in the system? Now we have to depend on our family. How the hell we go depend on somebody we don't even, you can't, you know, you got to pour into people that pour into you, mom, their family. I would look after your kids. Yeah, obviously. But you're not my family. But that's not your responsibility. That's true. It would just be a good sitcom, be, though. Yeah. So, family's important. Yeah, totally. I 100% agree. Family is the most important. Yeah. And uh, sometimes people are more quick to judge their family because they know them so well yeah. and because they take them for granted. Yeah. Like, so, what well, makes me go to my second question. So, I call Ron on Easter. And Ron is, uh, Ron is driving with his dad. Envied it a little bit. So I go wrong. Man, you guys, man, I hope you guys are having a good Easter. Happy Easter. I go wrong. Kiss your father. <laughs> right? Yeah. You hesitated when I asked you to kiss him. <laughs> yeah, because I'm not going to, I didn't want to kiss him for you. It wasn't for me. It was for but that's you. What I, but, but I know, but you, it was because you said it. But you end up kissing him. Yeah, I kissed him on the shoulder. You're on the shoulder. <laughs> Weird, the weirdest kiss in the world. I, I mean, he's driving. I'm not going to be like. Why? He literally bust you. I agree. It's your dad. I agree, but I don't want to. He's going to crash. I kiss too good. Okay. <laughs> Great answer. <laughs> Great answer. But I envied that, though. And I also couldn't wait for me to have that with my sons. You know, driving down, seeing family in car together, chilling out. So I get a call. Hey, man, kiss your dad. I would love that. But I'm. <laughs> come on, son, right here, cool, son. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Get right on here. the game. Get your ass out from playing basketball yeah, outside. Come on, you buddy, right here, right here, right here. Keep <laughs> you right here. So, uh, family's important. My dad was tickled to see you. My whole family sends their love. My mom, uh, my sister, everybody. Love that. Love that. Family's important. The most important. Most important. And uh, our show family is important as well. Uh, so we appreciate everybody. Yeah, and if you subscribe, you are part of our family. So right, that's what I mean. Real ones. So. Now so go on Spotify and do some more work. Yeah, get on Spotify, listen, rate and subscribe. it, subscribe. We got, what, 260? Yeah. We need 300. We, we kind of hovering over that 250. Like, we need we need a little push. And yeah. we need an Instagram push, too. All because I want to catch Draymond Green. I do. That's You feel me? He's always been the podcast that I've always looked up to and challenged myself and how, what type of content I can to kind of compete Why with the podcast. Why don't we have him back on? There. Draymond? Yeah. They better stop playing. He gonna be on soon. He ain't gonna have shit else to do in the summertime. For real, they better stop playing. The Houston Rockets on their ass. I know he say he ain't looking back at the Rockets, but come on now, y'all lock in, Dre. I'm rooting for y'all too, gang. Y'all lock in now. Right. Shout out to Draymond Green, man. Yeah. Uh, Subscribe to the pod? Please. <laughs>